let's work on putting notes on the triple clef. So on the on your sheet here, I have all the notes that could possibly go um, on the lines and spaces in the treble clef. And we're going to put them in order from lowest to highest and, and name them. Now, it's good to have a few markers, um, just notes that we memorize no matter what. The first one that we want to memorize is C. It's right over here. So C is uh, below the, the staff, and it has a ledger line in it, so a small little line that goes through the note. Uh, that is our first note. And our other note that we want to memorize is a G, which is over here. So this G, if you look at the treble clef, it kind of comes around and swirls around the second line. And this G is on the second line. Sometimes people call this clef the G clef, um, so it's also a good note to memorize. So we have C and G. Now, for this exercise, we want to start with C. So we, we copy this exact thing that we have right here, down here. We're going to use whole notes. So we put in our little ledger line, and we write our C. Now we've done C, so let's just cross that out so we know it's done. So there is our C. Now, notes follow the order of a line space, line space sequence. So this note, the C right here, has a line going through it. So our next one will be the next step up and there won't be a line going through it. Um, so if we look at our next closest note to that, we find this one over here, it's a D. So we wanna copy that exactly. Uh, I've heard it called dangling D before because it dangles off of the bottom note. So we put that right there, dangling off of the bottom line, and that's our D. Let's cross that one out so we know we've done it. So now we have a line and then a space. Our next note we know is going to be with a line going through it. And our next one up is the E, which is right here. Now this E has the line, the bottom line going through it, the first line. So we draw our E, and then let's just write that down and cross it out. There's our E. Our next note, we now we have a line, space, line. Our next note will be in a space, and the next closest moving up from the E is right over here, and that's our F. So we draw that one in our first space, and we write its name. So we have C, D, E, F, and we have line, space, line, space. So our next one will be a line going through it, and it will be called G, which we have already found right here with our marker. It's one of our marker notes, so we write in our G, and let's cross it out. All right, so now this next note's a bit tricky in naming. So, so far we have C, D, E, F, G. Um, there aren't any H's in music, so once you get to G, you start all over again. It means our next note will be called A. So it goes A, B, C, D, E, F, G, then we start again, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then we start again. So this next note is an A. It will also, because our last note was a space, a line, it will be in a space, and it is this note right here. That's our A, which is in our one, two, second space. So we put that right there. There's our A, and let's cross that out so we know it's done. All right. After A, A, B is our next note, so we can write in our B. Uh, our last note was in a space, so we know this one is going to be on a line, and it is this one. That's our next one coming up right here, and that's our B, so let's write that in on the third line up and cross it out. So now we have C, D, E, F, G, A, B. Our next note is a C. Okay, our last note was in a line, so this one is going to be in a space. And our next closest one from that B, just moving up, is right here in our third space. So we're going to draw that C right there and cross out this note. All right, let's think of the name of the next note. So far we have C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Our next note will be called D. Our last note was in a space, which means this one is in a line. 
and it'll be on our fourth line going up because we want to be right around there. Here it is right here. This is our D. So we write that in our fourth line and cross our note out. Okay, let's think of the next name of the note. So we have C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E is our next note. Our, our D from before was on a line, which means this one will be in a space, and it's this note right here. That's our E. So let's put that in, and then we can cross it out. Okay, let's figure out our next name of our notes. So we have C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E. Next one is a F. Our last note that we just drew, our E was in a space, which means our F will be on a line, will be on our fifth line, our top line right here. So let's draw that right there. There's our F. And we can cross that out. Now our last note is named C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F. It's called a G. It's our last note here, uh, and it will be because our F was on a line, we know this one will be on a space, and it's in our top one right here. There it is right here as well. And we can cross that out. And that is how you put notes on the treble clef.